On this episode of The Turnbuckle, Matt Hardy isn't sure if Jeff Hardy will rejoin AEW. Tony Schiavone says that sometimes there's too much blood in wrestling. And MLW releases Mads Kruger. Folks, we're reading your favorite wrestling movie for some wrestling news because it's time for The Turnbuckle. Jeff's brother Matt Hardy discussed the possibility of Jeff not returning to AEW while hosting his Extreme Life of Matt Hardy podcast. Just very unfortunate things that happened with Jeff. Hopefully it is something that is he is going to make into a positive and he's going to turn everything around in his life and he can come back and be better and we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he comes back. Maybe he doesn't. But you know, we were scheduled to do all kinds of things during that summer. Prior to Jeff Hardy's suspension, the Hardys were set to compete in a three-way ladder match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships against the Young Bucks and Jurassic Express. Due to the suspension, the Hardys were eliminated and the Young Bucks triumphed. Since the match, there have been rumors that the Hardys were supposed to win, which Matt revealed on his podcast. Yeah, I think they were going to see the Hardys as AEW World Tag Team Champions if Jeff didn't suffer that very unfortunate twist of fate. A bit of an insensitive play on words, I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, hopefully that's pun, like, not intended. It really stinks to hear that at some point down the line, Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy definitely would have been seen as, I would argue, multi-time Tag Team Champions, but man unfortunately it's just the way that it goes out there you know some people are able to build themselves back up from situations like this and there's some people in the world you know not just jeff hardy okay there's a bunch of other people out there and they're not even wrestlers who are doing their best right to get out of the situation but it's very difficult to step out of a situation like this and to stay out of a situation like this so at some point it has it stops being you know the stress it stops being like what's causing them to do this and it starts bleeding into okay well you know at some point you are making the conscious decision right to sort of do stuff like this and you're making the conscious decision to you know um mess up opportunities and things like that so if it starts becoming a thing where you know you were under the assumption that they were going to turn themselves around and they clearly haven't and it seems like they're going one step forward and two steps back and you could argue that that's just relapsing which does happen but it's it's a lot of you know how much of this is your own volition and how much of it is is you sort of like giving into like how much of it is you giving into the addiction will he rejoin aw probably i feel like he will because matt hardy's there and you know aw is really good to him and it would be kind of like weird but i mean at the end of the day it's his decision but it'd be weird if he showed up at ww or anywhere else but again you know he's free to do that so honestly at the end of the day we just got to see where jeff hardy ends up and hopefully man this is the last time let me talk about this next we're going to talk about mlw and how they released mads kruger mads kruger has been released by MLW first reported by PW Insider on Sunday. According to the report, the terms were negotiated several months ago, but the release went into effect on Sunday. There were no reported reasons given for why the two sides went their separate ways. The 37-year-old Kruger Matthew Waters debuted in MLW November 2019 as Grogan and later changed his name to Logan Creed. In late 2020, he took on the Kruger character as a key part of the Contra unit faction that also included former MLW world champion Jacob Fatu. After the group split up in late 2021, Kruger and Fat Fatu feuded, which ended in Fatu defeating Kruger in a Weapons of Mass Destruction match earlier this year. He most recently had a short feud with Mance Warner that saw Warner defeat him in a tables match in Kruger's last MLW match. He has been most recently working under the name Cruel. He held an IWTV independent title in recent months before it was vacated and won by Matt Tremont this weekend. Matt Kruger is an incredible worker. He's got a lot of titles under his belt. He's got a lot of decent matches. He's one of those wrestlers that he's not going to be gone for too long where he's obviously going to find some more work sooner rather than later. So you know what it's only a matter of time until we see him crop up somewhere else finally we're gonna be talking about tony shivani now he says that sometimes there's too much blood in wrestling the legendary announcer joined co-host conrad thompson for a special watch along on adfreeshows.com of two undertaker matches and the topic of blood gets discussed thompson said blood changed for american sports when magic johnson came out as hiv positive back in 1991 and that perception has bled over into the world of wrestling too shivani was enamored with blood and wrestling growing up as a fan but today realizes it's not as necessary i've seen enough of it now i'm on the different side of the camera now now to where I think sometimes it's too much, Shivani said, recalling when he go to spot shows that feature blood growing up in Virginia. AW has had its fair share of blood on its television product, but Shivani notes that it's an industry-wide issue that blading can be foreign territory for younger talent. You see kids, I call them kids who don't have the experience of blading themselves as they should, and sometimes it's too much blood because they don't know how to do it, he said. Shivani and Thompson agree that their adfreeshows.com colleague Ric Flair has bladed himself at least a thousand times over his career, and Shivani shares a story about one of, quote, the Nature Boy's 
his fellow four horsemen. One time, Telly Blanchard came backstage after a fight and told Shivani something a little alarming. Telly said, he hit me so hard, I'm gonna swallow my blade. He said that, Shivani laughed, and of course, Telly used to wrap the blade up and put it in his mouth. So they would wrap the blade up, and they would put it like under their tongue or they would put the blade in their wrist tape or i think some of them would put their blade in their boot the point is man i yeah yeah that is crazy and scary and dangerous and man there's a lot of different times in wrestling where i feel as though that could have gone wrong shivani has got a point when it comes to blood in wrestling it doesn't really need it i know there's a lot of people that argue that if you put blood in wrestling it could tell a better story and you know it could make the story more like more impactful but there's definitely been a lot of times in wrestling history as a whole where blood has started out as this key factor in a wrestling match and then it started turning into this very scary you know real life danger you know that could obviously hinder a lot of people's health there's a lot of people in wrestling where if you look at their foreheads you can tell that you know maybe they bladed a little bit you know like one too many times you know uh rick flair uh devon dudley is one of them i know he's definitely uh one of the most like prominent bladers so yeah there's a lot of wrestlers out there who i feel like there's a lot of wrestlers out there who would tell you like yeah maybe blading isn't like the best thing to be doing you know what i mean and certainly wrapping it up and then putting that putting that blade at the bottom of your mouth and then wrestling with it seems also a little bit dangerous but i guess you know yeah you're not really doing anything i mean but then it depends what are you not doing in the match that is making you think, oh, this will be fine. I'll be able to keep it under my tongue. You know, that's very strange. So, I mean, listen, I mean, I haven't really heard anything. I guess that's why they wrap it up, I guess, you know. So, in case that that does ever end up happening, you know, then all they have to do is just poop out a razor? Like, I don't understand what the... It's just one of those things that I feel as though doesn't necessarily need to be added. And wrestling could do without it. But again, I understand its importance. And I don't really mind whether it stays or it goes. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest with you. I just, you know, I just want the wrestlers to be safe. Is that a crime? All right. What are we talking about? Matt Hardy isn't sure if Jeff Hardy's going to rejoin AEW. I feel as though that Jeff Hardy's going to be back. Obviously, again, it's sad that this sort of circumstances led to what we're talking about right now. And you never want to see a guy, anyone really, like Jeff Hardy with such a a tenured career and you know so many accolades under his belt go through something like this you know what i mean and it just goes to show that it doesn't really matter who you are anybody can suffer from this type of stuff and it's really sad to see and that's why i pretty much was like man i hope that we don't talk i hope that this is the last time we talk about this specifically and all we talk about after this is jeff hardy coming back and he's much happier and he's in 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 a much better mental state you know what i mean like as long as we don't have to worry about it. i just don't want to have to worry about jeff hardy you know what i mean like hopefully you know he's he's doing a lot better than he was before mlw released mad kruger mad kruger is a fantastic wrestler he's a really good big guy you know he moves around very quickly a lot of people compare him to kane and early undertaker so you know i mean if he if that's anything to go by i'm sure he's an absolute spectacle to watch in the ring you know um He's had a lot, of, a lot of championships. He's been mostly an independent wrestler. I've not really seen him too much on any of like the. I mean, he's been with MLW, obviously, but you know, I'm saying like he hasn't been with like Impact or anything like that. So, I mean, that doesn't. Again, like I said, that doesn't mean that, that I'm not going to see him anywhere. It doesn't mean that he's not going to crop up in an AEW Dark or maybe he's going to be on main or on WWE's main event. It does, you know, it, uh, who's to say really? But I really feel as though that Matt Crew is definitely one of those superstars that we're definitely going to see sometime in the future so keep your eyes peeled for him and tony khan and tony khan tony shivani announces that sometimes there's too much blood he's got a point you know again you don't need blood you can have blood if you want to it's like extreme moments in wrestling you don't have to have it it makes the match more memorable if you put it in there but at the same time i could do without it but that's just me folks that's gonna do it for this episode hopefully everybody has a wonderful tonight and a wonderful tomorrow and as always big hugs big hugs all around